Hello. So good to be with you again, right wherever you are today. God bless you so much. Hope you're happy, joyful. By the way, I'm right here in my home in Florida. I love Florida, love my home. And uh, surrounded by some great, great friends here, some of my Brazilian friends that are in our little audience today. So we're all gathered here together in Jesus' name. One of my favorite verses of the scripture says that if only two or three are gathered together in, in, in his name, in Jesus' name, that uh, he's there, here, in the midst. Yeah, you believe that today? Well, I do. And I, and I don't wanna just, I don't wanna just talk, just talk to you today, although I'm happy to do that. I wanna release, I wanna release something into your life. Um, my words are containers, I've learned that. I've learned that the anointing can be contained. We know from the book of Acts that with the Apostle Paul, there were, there were special miracles that even articles of his clothing were distributed around and handkerchiefs and different things were distributed and, and put upon sick people and they were healed. And, and uh, words are also containers of faith and impartation, blessing. I want that to happen for you today. I would like nothing more, or I would pray for nothing greater than for the Lord Jesus to manifest himself to you right, right where you are during these few minutes that we'll be spending together. Uh, I'm feeling his presence. I'm sensing his presence right now. You know, some people, some people that I know are a little bit intimidated to a little, a little shy to just speak into a camera lens. That's not true for me at all. I'm, I'm perfectly comfortable because I know you're there. And I know that even on your phone or your computer, or wherever you are, you can, you can see my eyes. You can look right into my eyes. And by faith, I'm looking right into your eyes and right into your faith. And, and I know that I'm speaking right into your heart. And I know that my words that are coming out right now are bringing an encouragement to you, bringing a blessing into your life. Uh, because everything that, that Jesus does, I'm, I'm changing the subject just a little bit to get on with what I want to say, but it has to do with the seed. Everything Jesus does begins with a seed. Jesus, Jesus himself, the man, the man, Christ Jesus, the son of man, Jesus, began with as a seed. It's a seed in the womb of Mary, a seed that was divinely planted. Everything God does begins with a seed. Words are seeds. Thoughts are seeds. Actions are seeds. Attitudes are seeds. Prejudice is a seed. Everything he does begins with the seed. So if we can be aware of that and respect that that's God's, that's God's way, there's a verse in Genesis that says, as long as the earth remains, there will be seed time and harvest, winter and summer and cold and heat. Well, obviously the earth is still remaining, so the principle of seed time, sowing of seeds, still exists today. So even, even this brief broadcast is a, is a seed into your life, a seed of blessing. Everything that, that God does begins with a seed and Everything you do begins with a seed. That seed could be a thought, um, a word, an opinion, or a seed. So as we, as we grow and mature, as you grow and mature, you will recognize this principle 
and you'll be more, more aware and more cautious about the seeds that you plant in the lives of others or, that, or the seeds that you allow to be planted into your life. If, if you would understand my own life, my own testimony, uh, you, would, you would realize what a miracle my life is. And, pro and it could be exactly the same with you. Maybe you were, maybe you were raised in a, in a wonderful, godly, loving family. Maybe you were. I, I pray you were. I wasn't. Uh, that was not my environment at all of, of being affirmed and, and, occur, and encouraged. And it, was, it was kind of like uh, you're on your own kind of thing. And, I, and I'm not... And I'm not want to be negative or critical of my parents. They were just a different, they were, just, they were good people, just a different kind of people. But my point is that, that, that seeds were sown uh, that, and there were not positive seeds. Perhaps that's your testimony. I, I pray your testimony is completely opposite of that. But my point is, is the, the power of a seed and realize that even how your life and my life is a seed that affects others. But what we're sowing into other people's lives or you are allowing to be sown into our life. The marvelous thing about a seed is that a seed always produces and reproduces what it is. That's amazing, isn't it? Simple, it's simple but amazing. A, a, a melon seed produces a melon every every time every every wherever it's planted if it if it grows at all a melon seed produces a melon an apple seed produces an apple it'll never produce an orange or a grape because the the what it is it produces and that's one of the, the, the primary, primary principles of the kingdom of God. In fact, the parables, some of the parables of the kingdom was like a man who planted a seed, sowed a seed in a garden, and the, and the seed then determines the harvest. So where you, where you plant the seed determines where you get the harvest, and, and the seed you plant determines what your harvest is. A good seed brings forth a good harvest. A seed of faith brings forth faith. A seed of love brings forth love. A seed of forgiveness brings forth forgiveness. A seed of healing brings forth healing. A seed of a miracle brings forth miracles. So one of the greatest privileges that any of us have as believers in the Lord Jesus and members of the kingdom, citizens of the kingdom, is to be sowers of good seed. And make sure that any experience that anyone has in, in our, your life or, or my life or in, any encounter that, that we have with, with other people can be a good seed. I've experimented with this and it's a joy to me. I've experimented with turning the some of the most grouchy, grouchy, negative people <laughs> into, into a, a smiling face. It's amazing how it works. How the seed of a smile pro can produce a harvest of a smile but in return almost instantly. <laughs> try, try it sometime. Some of you are smiling right now. <laughs> it, 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 some seeds produce quickly. Uh, power of a seed. And it's also interesting and important to understand to how to identify seed, seeds that have been sown in your life and realize that, that, that by faith and revelation, you can reject a seed. You can reject a thought. You can reject an attitude. 
you can reject a judgment. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that, is that, that no weapon formed against you has to prosper. That no, no word of judgment or, or criticism or condemnation against you has to affect you. You, you can condemn it you know, because of the value of a seed. It's so critical in your life and mine. And in, in our culture right now, and, and I know here, here I am coming to you on social media. You know, I've been reluctant over the years to do that, and I'm only just now agreeing to expand, expand this platform. Because I realize that probably many of you, if not most of you, are spending a lot of time on the social media and the news media and other, other forms of input and information. And, and uh, uh, I want to caution you really about that, to be aware, to, be, to pay attention and be responsible and be aware of what kind of seed of information and attitudes and prejudices and judgments are being, are being fed into your life. The, the problem that we all live and as a result of the one problem that none of us were responsible for, but we've all received the benefit of, was happened in the very garden of God, where Adam and Eve, where they, 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 they did something absolutely contrary to what God said to do. He said, do not eat from that tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He said, if you, because it's a seed of death. But many are doing that today because that, that's uh, the whole source, that's the source of information today is the media, the news media, the sports media, the entertainment media and all of that. My friend, I, I don't know that if I would, if I, you could say that I'm against it. I, I think honestly, I kind of am because I think it's, it's sowing seeds in your life that are not not helpful, not helpful at all. I heard that. That's my refrigerator because you're in my home and I'm in my home near my kitchen and this is where I live. So, you know, we're, we're not after, uh, we're, just, we're just after truth and reality and my refrigerator is reality in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and don't let that be a seed. You know, we have a seed of the word of God. The Bible says something remarkable. It says that you and I were born again. How? How? By an incorruptible seed, which is the word of God. And that the kingdom of God, of which we are citizens, is like a man sowing seed in a field. It's like leaven in a lump. That, that, that penetrates and permeates the whole thing. And that's the kingdom of God in your life. That the key or the seed of the kingdom in your life is growing. It's revealing Jesus and it's revealing you. The Bible says that, that, we, that we are the sons of God, but it doesn't yet appear who we can be. But we're becoming that by the seed of the word of God that's in you. So, my message to you today, be aware of what's being sown into your life and be aware of what you're sowing into the lives of other people. Parents, be careful. The seed that you're sowing into your children and be, and be aware of the seeds that's been sown into them that's shaping their life and shaping their future. Anyway, that's my word for you today. I love you so much. God bless you. Have a great day. I hope to see you again back here in my home. God bless you so